This is the source of the Nile. This is the most important river in Africa. And uh, it spans across about seven or eight countries. Starting from Uganda, the source right here, to Kenya, to uh, Rwanda, to Sudan, all the way, uh, I, think, I think Libya, and all the way to, uh, to, to Egypt. Um, guys, this is... This is Jinja to go to the source of the now our car broke down <laughs> so we're just ready right here and you know <laughs> we might as well use this opportunity to go grab lunch something to eat so yeah we might do lunch right here now and hopefully we fix our car and then we get to we get to our destination but right now we ain't moving nowhere just like a bad navy you ain't going nowhere So we just left the sugarcane city called Lugazi and this is the sugarcane they have right here. I'm a Nigerian and in Nigeria we don't have this kind of sugarcanes. I mean like sugarcanes are bigger and <laughs> they're not this thin. So except I want to like you know have problem with my teeth, I'm not going to attempt this at all. I'm not attempting this. So we got this for free, like the whole, <laughs> whole place. Finally made it here. Um, we had some issues coming here when we left the Madura forest for zip lining. Uh, we had car troubles. And we finally got to the source of the now. What's going on? I'm tired and hungry. <laughs> I have no clue what's going on here. These guys are cultural dancers. Uh -huh. so they are 
main 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 work is like to entertain tourists that come here. Yeah. Oh, and you can still hire them if you have a function or, or an event, you can still go ahead and hire them if you have a function and youth culture that has like this. Uh -huh. uh, I think the best thing to go to that place is to explain the chogam and, and the rest That's of the you know, the So I was trying to talk to brief them about the COK. So these are cultural dances. We are doing it professionally. It's their job. Yeah, so they entertain people in all cultural dances. You know, Uganda is a small country with different tribes. So these people are lucky that they can dance more than 30 different cultural dances. Oh, professionally. So he's trying to use the own organization. They're trying to practice different languages. So then what we see here, it's called a chogam drum. You can recall this. It's a chogam drum. So chogam is the so Uganda is one of the best countries and the country. So this was planted in 2007 when the Queen came here. It's the Yahweh who hosted the meeting, the Choga meeting in 2007. So Queen Elizabeth came to Uganda this year the meeting. So she headed the meeting. All countries around here sent a representative to Uganda. Yeah, there are countries over the world from Africa, Europe, Asia, countries from America, countries from Caribbean. Uh, Pacific Ocean and Caribbean. Yeah, so there were 53 countries by then, but for now there are more than 27 countries. So it's now a free entry and a free exit. Like Rwanda has joined and the Rwanda. However, they don't speak English. But they just say, they just wait for the government to join. And uh, it will be Rwanda to host the meeting, that will be next year. So, yeah. so is it like a union jack or what kind of meeting did they host them? Yeah, come again. What kind of meeting was it for? What was the purpose of meeting? The purpose? Yeah, yeah they, they, they come together to solve different problems. You know, countries, when you look around Africa, all over the world, we suffer from different yeah, yeah. conflicts and all that. Yeah, exactly. But That's most right. of them is political. So yeah. what is the name? Like they have a name? It's a common one. Oh, Commonwealth. Yeah. Oh, com yeah. So this C stands for Commonwealth. Heads of government is meeting. Oh. So this is W. It's CW. Commonwealth. So it was hosted 2007 in Uganda. Yeah. So all countries around the world sent someone here to represent. Yeah. However, um, last year in um, November, I think, I hosted. The IP. These are parliamentarians of Commonwealth countries. Oh, yeah, so Uganda hosted them for a week. Oh, yeah. So they came here. They went around everywhere. Yeah. So I'm from Uganda, and we speak English. Uh, the official language. That's it. So most of the countries here are British, are British colonies. They colonized the Britain. Most of them. That's how it used to be some years back. That for you to join Commonwealth, you're supposed to be under Britain. But nowadays, all countries can join, like Rwanda, Tanzania. They are not British colonies? They are not British colonies. Rwanda speak French. Yeah, but they have joined. Oh, real? Yeah, I see. Just write treaties. So are they going to make. No, they can start with their French, but they are under two. Exactly. So, um, this side, there is a story. So, this is the story. So, it's where we go. You see where the longest river starts when it's journey from Uganda to Egypt. That's my home in So, the waters you see down there is a river now as water flowing the north. So, it's pretending to be not flowing because we get close, it will be moving. How strong is the current? Um, not so strong, but. Um, it runs so fast. For 90 days it will be in Egypt. Whoa, three months. 90 days? Yeah, yeah. it will make months. So it leaves Uganda to South Sudan to Sudan in Egypt. It will take it three months to get over there. Do people enjoy this? Yeah, like moving on it? <laughs> Do people drink it? Is it drink it? Yeah, those who are born around, they take it. And they don't die. Uh, but you and me, we can't take it. But you can take it, but well, it's going to go die still. No, I mean like... Water. Is what? Clean water. Oh, fresh and clean. Do you swim here? People swim here. <laughs>
can swim. Yeah, we swim. How, how, how deep is this? It will depend. For the river, the depth depends. Something like 26 feet to 45 feet. Oh. Yeah, because it's running water. Sometimes it carries the sediments. Yeah, but for the lake, the average is 40 meters. Yeah, then the deepest could be 80 to 100 meters deep. So you, if you want to take some pictures here, yeah, please, you can. You can give me what up, guys? It's your boy, McDonald, and another Lanja boy, aka Mr. Torres, aka Mr. Adventurer. Maybe you should you wait for them? Yeah. Let's wait for them. We should start. Yeah. Uh, all of you know this gentleman. Mahatma Gandhi. Yeah, he's called Mohandas from Chandi Gandhi, given a title Mahatma. So Mahatma means the whole soul. Yeah, maybe should I move in front? Yeah. This one, huh? He's called Mohandas from Chandi Gandhi, given a title Mahatma. Mahatma means the whole soul. Soul of Gandhi. So, so it's popularly known as Mahatma Gandhi. However, Gandhi is named the Mahatma is a title given to him. So this gentleman is over here fought for the independence of Indians, non-violent, and he didn't act anymore to chase whites from India. Yeah. So he's an Indian, he's not a Uganda. You're wondering how we start here in Ginger. So Maybe wow. in South Africa, that's why it's because of his year as a lawyer. Yeah, but there was, was there, uh, was there now, now they get to South Africa. So why specific, I mean, why now? So, yeah, um, this was done some years ago. So many of us were in Rome, but at the 18th plan, many people are discussing it. So I'm just, I, I, I don't, I just, just want to no, find out why, like, like, you know. The now starts from Uganda. Yes. Then it's the longest now all right. So for him, he wanted to become popular the entire world. That's oh. why he chose to bring the ashes to the river. To, to gotcha. The river. Gotcha. So he, before he died, he wished. So this is the, the, it's just important to him just because of the length of this, because of how important this river is in Africa, right? Exactly. 
because everyone will come and you will know about it. To rain. To yeah, so he was like marketing himself. Gotcha. Yeah, that's, it. that's how the gentleman looked like. Uh, he was a lawyer in South Africa. And, uh, he he was a <laughs> yeah. Then we have uh, that figure was planted by the vice president of India, Ahmed Yassani. He came here three years back because of him. So they normally give him necklaces and bangles. They, it is taken to be their father. If you're watching me right now, <laughs> you're missing if you're not subscribed. Uh, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, thenanjaboy.com. And this is now. River now, the source of River now in Jinja, um, Uganda. What our family, this is your boy, McDonald's Man Adventure Boy, aka Mr. Torres, aka Mr. Adventurer. That's the new name. After I did the zipline, now I'm called Mr. Adventurer. <laughs> I'm still right here, Jinja. This is the Nile River. As you all know, this is one of the most important rivers in Africa. This is a, probably the longest river in, in, in Africa. Uh, it spans across about eight countries, from right here in Uganda to uh, Uganda, Burundi, Sudan, Kenya, Egypt, and uh, I'm not sure if it's Libya. So, like I said, you know, this is a very, very important river. Uh, made famous, like in the Bible days. So, if you must have heard about river now. Islands, it's called the Napoleon Gulf. This island was put for purpose to reduce on the currents of the river for the construction of old Force Dam Place. The okay. old, old dams take place successful. They were building the dam down there when you're going back to Kampala, look on to your right when you're crossing a new bridge. That dam was generating every power in Uganda. Oh. So when they're building it, they, they had to reduce on like the, the currents. The, the island is moving. Right. The island doesn't move. That body you see down there is called African Open Build Storm. So the moment you go beyond this island, that's Lake Victoria. Oh, that's the lake is water. What is it that's before? Uh -huh. That water doesn't flow. So who separated this and knew that this is Victoria? Yeah, so we're going to the source now. We're going to the so, source. So, mommy, like, so the, the uh, now flows into Lake Victoria? Now flows from, from Lake Victoria, not to. So it flows from here out. I'll explain to you well when you get to the top. So when you look over here, 
It's like moving, right? Yeah, yeah. it's like it's moving. So you've come at the top of the now. Water is flowing so far. And water flowing. So what we're going to do, we're coming out, we've got the sauce. Right here at the source of the Nile River, Ginger, Uganda, Africa. This is the source of the Nile. This is the most important river in Africa and uh, it spans across about seven or eight countries starting from Uganda, the source right here, to Kenya, to uh, Rwanda, to Sudan, all the way, uh, I, think, I think Libya and all the way to, uh, to, to Egypt. Um, guys, this is... This is, this is... I've had so much food in Uganda that Oh my god, the food here is crazy, it's mad, it's, god damn it. Well, I'm definitely coming back here, I had fun. Who came up? Who came through? <laughs> my math teacher came through, <laughs> Mr. Arnold, <is> right here. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Kisembo Arnold from Kisembo Academy, and I'm here with the Niger boy, aka Mr. Torres. <laughs> <laughs> Good to be here, man. We've been sharing a lot about Uganda and his perspectives on his travel journeys from various parts of this world, and it's been amazing. It's good to see you, man. Good. Thanks for coming to Uganda. Thank you, thank you, thank you, bro. Hey, guys, you need to check out his his his, uh, his YouTube channel, Math. <laughs> if you got any problem, like at any level, at any stage, you guys need to check him out. I'm gonna share his link below and like this guy's just he's a genius, that's what I'm gonna say. He's a genius. <laughs> I will share his link and you're gonna check him out. Okay, man. You, you wanna see your channel? My channel it's Kisembo Academy. Kisembo Academy. It's definitely going to be in the link below. Uh yeah, thanks for checking out. And this is Erin and Edna coming in. They're going through security <laughs> to see if they got some. <laughs> They're both looking fly and fly. <laughs> Yeah. And see, Erina's Erina got a big smile, and this is Edna. They both look alike. Edna walking in like you know, like a model. 